It's a drawer. A Dragon. drawer. <laughs> And this is the entrance to Miraheim proper. Oh, this is amazing. My all-time favorite build. <laughs> Reaper Garden. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Reaper was uh, somebody who picked the name. You can see there's some crossbowmen up top, swordsmen down the bottom. Um, all around, I did stone to start building up to defend the walls. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it. I'm going to let you explore in here. If you want to check out the market again, not a hundred percent finished, but if you have any questions on the market, let me know. I'm just going to kind of hang out. Oh, all these armor stands. Head into my house. After. Yeah. Dang, dude, you, this was to take so, like a long time. Uh, once you get used to it, it's, it's a lot easier than you think. Um, but you just have to learn how to do stuff like the shields took <laughs> a bit to make that hang perfectly on the chain. Uh, but once you learn what, points are at specific pages of the book you can kind of go from there mm -hmm. uh, this is something that i never ended up doing because it was going to take so long this was supposed to be full of like 15 or 20 pieces of wheat that made the bucket look full oh yes um all on armor stands i was just like no nah, i'm not gonna do that right now we're just gonna let that be yeah. So, and once you're done exploring that, we'll go to whatever building you choose. You have chosen the docks and the warehouse. This yep. was the last large project I did. Dual warehouses on each side. Um, import and export. So, obviously, the people here are going to want to buy stuff, and they're going to want to sell stuff. Oh, I like what you've done here, all these blocks and that. Just pile them. Looks like it's a busy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I liked it. Um, so, it explains a bit of what's going on. Their export, obviously, wheat because yep. they have a giant wheat farm. Uh, there were more farms planned, but never got around to it. Ah, uh, defense. I'm going to have to make bring you out on here for a second, you know? What's up? You need to fill this in, dude. Come on. <laughs> it's funny, because I did it all down here. I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, I put all those in. I just didn't do it up there. Ah, uh, what a noob. Uh, this was my first... Uh, try at a large ship. Again, I found a tutorial for this that was actually from like 2015. Dude. Um, obviously, I added more modern blocks to it. But like the tutorial for this big ship was like from six years ago. And it's... then obviously my little canoe. Yeah, I just built this. I wanted a bigger <laughs> canoe with storage in it. It's a cute canoe. Yeah. I'm probably going to Again... take notes from this. Go for it. Um, the world download is on my final video of season two and on the first. Oh, sorry, the final video of season one and on the first video of season two. So if you want to check those out, uh, I'm gonna hop down in here real quick. You'll see my bamboo farm. Simple setup, just on a timer. Sends out this thing and those mine cards that go down below to pick everything up. Awesome. And I can't remember. Did I have something in the other one? I did. Oh, the other one was my sugar cane. Oh, nice. Which was pretty cool. This was actually Tango Tech's uh, design that he used in, uh, designed and used in Season 7 of Hermitcraft. And he's not kidding when he said it's, it, it's lossless. I have never seen a single piece sitting on the dirt. Huh. And it's awesome. But yeah, I made it so you could see everything down below, but I was placing stuff on top. Whoop, there it goes. Just fire. I don't know oh, I going. just missed it. But yeah, lots of custom terraining, lots of custom stuff. I tried to make the docks look old and repaired at different points. So. Yeah, this definitely um, looks really good. Would you like good. to go into the Santa hat next, or would you like to go into the keep? Yep, let's go with the Santa hat. Santa hat. Okay, this was pretty much storage slash where I live slash maps. Um, this is my singular item storage up top here, so... If it wasn't something that was going to be bulk related, like cobble or sand or stuff like that, it was all up here. Um, Got a lot of armor. My collection. This is my micro blocks. Where did I put it? Which this? chest this is micro right blocks? I don't know. Uh, sorry, bottom right. Oh, I see. There's a couple of heads in there. I used so many of my heads on the armor stands. Um, actually, it might have been a shulker box now that I think about it, but that's all. I took that all out so people could check it out for the, uh, if they hopped into the world at all. That's yeah. awesome. So, yeah. Um, and then we're going to go upstairs real quick whenever you're ready. 
And then we'll we'll do downstairs last before we leave the building. Okay, okay. This okay. was my map. Oh, try to go. Yeah, you have to do it manually. Sorry. Um, these were all my treasure maps that I found. Oh, it's annoying me how you've not filled them all out. <laughs> all of them. No, I did not fill them all out. Nope. Um, and then this is uh, oh, April wow. 19th of 2020 before Miraheim appeared. Wait, is this the same map? And, yep, this is the oh same map. Oh my goodness, you've done on the left, then on the loads right. of terrain. Yep. This was this as yeah, as I said, everything that's Miraheim, uh, I built by hand. And you can see a lot of the stuff on it. I'm very happy with it. You can see my old nether portal, which I think is still over there. You can see a little bit of the field from Miraheim. You can see the start, the brown patch down there. Um, that was me starting to cover up the gold farm. Uh, actually, you can see a bit of where the turtle farm is. We'll head over there later. I completely forgot about the turtle farm. But yeah, the map on the right and the map on the left is pretty much what happened. Dude, that is incredible. You've done so much work. What's this slow? Uh, it just looks like a wee swamp island. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah, I had to tear that out to build Miraheim. <laughs> I am impressed, dude. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then, oh, you'll see, this is why I needed the mushroom blocks, by the way. You can see oh, I see this, yeah. I was mushroom, bone, and smooth quartz. Or what I used over here. Oh. And I did plan on doing oh. more up here. I was going to build like a bedroom. Oh, yeah, because we both keep trying to go. <laughs> um, now I will send you down to the largest redstone contraption I have ever built. We're going to take it from the inside first. All right. This is my shulker box storage system. If you open up any chest, uh, not all of them have a shulker box in it. But, like, the grass has them in it. These were fully loaded shulker boxes from the items that I have. Dude. Everything was hooked up for the farms. Um, the warehouses kick into over here. I have an output chest on the left for anything that didn't have a spot. Plus for my super smelter above this. And the right was input if I wanted to input anything down here. We actually have a drowned back there if you can see him dancing around. He's picked up a lot of stuff. Uh, one second... Oh, yes, I can see him. He just... Yeah, he's just got an amalgamation of armors. Um, if you come back through, there's a door, but you don't have to obviously come in through the door. Uh, this is how you input stuff for my super smelter. This is smeltables, that little corner chest right there. And this was fuel right here. A minecart will come down in a little bit. Okay. Uh, darn. But I wanted it to kind of be hidden. And then this is my door to access the guts. Oh Don't wow. If you have questions, ask. Um, I'm not kidding when I said this is the largest redstone contraption I've ever built. So I'm terrible at redstone, so if you would like to just give a wee explanation about what's going on, maybe I can understand okay, a bit. So, uh, where are you standing right I'm now? I'm right beside you. Hello. Oh, there you are. Okay, so uh, this top right section here that's attached to the top set of hoppers, that is an impulse SV sorting system. Uh, and so if you right click on the chest that's facing the comparator, you'll see it's an ink sack and then whatever item I'm using as a filter. And that makes it so that obviously only ink sacks end up down in here. And then down below is the system that makes the whole thing work. Okay. So this is a shulker box breaker, placer, and filled sensor. <laughs> So that whole bottom circuit does all of that in one. It senses when it's full, breaks it, places a new one, and starts filling it again. Oh, that's incredible. Yep, okay, I still yep. don't understand anything about this, but... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that would happen right, so when you we'll, don't know um, this, though. Actually, before we go to buildings, let's hop up, let's see... Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll go to the, we'll go to the other buildings, because I'm access almost everything else from there. So if you drop back down, there's a bubble vader up, or you can spectate. However you want to go up, back into the house. I forgot. Nice. We also have a bubble Oh, I just fell back down. This was. Whoop, <laughs> I second. did that all the time, all the time. But yeah, on the left was my bone meal generator. Anytime I had random stuff that I didn't need, throw it in that. Turns it to bone meal. This was my master input for the system downstairs. So I'd bring my shulker boxes back, throw them on top, and it would sort everything out for me. Nice. What was the well, furnace for there? The left. What was that? The furnace there as well. There's like a wee furnace. 
Uh, the furnace was uh, just to... Uh, it's lack of prevention. Okay. Um, if a hopper has a thing on top it can try and pull out of and it's empty, it'll go, hey, this is empty, and then... It reduces lag. I don't fully understand it. I just do it because the smart people tell me to do it. Fair enough. Um, this was supposed to be the blacksmith. Uh, as you can see, it's empty. <laughs> but the building was nice. I really enjoyed this building, and it's definitely getting built in Season 2. I did talk about that at the end of the video, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I think I'm going to use this as one of the docks storehouses, and the upstairs will be like the... Um, the offices of the people who kind of run the docks. Oh yeah, that's so we'll good. Play around with that. But this was another one of my, you know, like favorite buildings. I keep saying my favorite buildings. I talked about that a lot in in series. I always had a new favorite building every time I built something. Oh, that happens um, to me a lot. But this is, yeah, this is the keep. This was the main stronghold of the whole fort that is Miraheim proper. Uh, oh, which, by the way, Miraheim is home and home in two different languages squished together. It's um, Dwarvish and Elvish. Nice. Or, sorry, Nordic and Elvish. I don't know why I said Dwarvish. Um, this was my next attempt at Village of Trading uh, to just gather up tons of emeralds. Oh, I've never seen these one Everybody villagers with this stuff. Trades. Oh, that's awesome. That? I've not seen, like, yeah. the villagers with the swamp. Clothes on yeah, and these are swamp villagers, so they're purple, and they have like leafs, lily pads on their head, and like, <laughs> grass wrapped around as things, and they have little mushrooms on their right butt cheek. Wait, I need, to, I need to see if I can see one of them. No, they're all just facing uh, this forward. One right here. Oh, this one. I see. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so he carries a red mushroom. Oh, yeah, the attention to detail. I did this for XP. That was after I got tired of killing zombies. I just come in here because my farms were always running. I'd come up. In trade, these guys are the best, by the way. Fishermen, a uh, Fletcher's. Sorry. Oh, the sticks. Fletchers yes. Are string and sticks. And feathers, if you have a chicken farm. Yep. Oh yeah, and feathers. Which I did start to build a chicken farm. Never finished it. But yeah. This was a lot of fun. Um, actually, uh, we're gonna come out and down to the side here, and we'll head into my next villager breeder. This was oh. the actual villager breeder. And this is where I got a lot of my heads towards the end. Oh, I see. So, actually, if you step down here, you'll be able to see. Um, yoink. This is back in the undercuts. We were just over there in storage. This was a villager. Con this was going to be a villager converter station. I just never did anything with it. Um, but, yeah, this right section here, I just come over here. Oop, I lost you again. I'm Sorry, still I here. Don't worry. Right here. Right here. Yep. I'd come over here, plop down, break this glass block, and kill the villagers. Lovely. That's how I got villager heads. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yes. But yeah, as you can see, I left the guts. <gasps> Yo, I got a glow squid spawning. Oh my I god. About that. We're in 1.17 now, guys, because the update to the world. But they look so cool. This would make yeah, like a cool cavern build. Yeah. That'd be cool. It, I do like. I was kind of really against the glow squid. I really wanted the other. I wanted the, the snow illager personally um but the glow squids look cool i'm glad they don't have them just spawning everywhere Ooh, did i lose you where'd you go oh, i was uh, too busy oh, spinning glow squids <laughs> no worries no worries um but yeah that was really that um this is my mob farm this i think is the last big thing that i need to show oh i uh, see there's uh uh Slime one and a zombie one. I was like, "Yep." Yeah. Oh well, anything can anything can spawn on there. But because we are in a swamp, I do get slimes. So I never made a slime farm because I get enough passive slimes that it's not an issue. Which is very nice. Did these guys have feather fallen? Is that why they survived? Ah, uh, yeah, those guys survived due to either armor or feather falling. Dude, uh, that's why every once in a while I'll come down and kill them. Dude, that was so quick. Oh yeah, it, it it rolls out real fast. I'm just going to check where this leads to. I'm trying to remember who this is. Who's this on this is? I feel. Oh, well, it's like was like Tango, it? maybe. I, I know Tango's built it, but he wasn't the designer. I'm trying to remember who it was though. I feel bad because I'm forgetting. Um, 
I watch a bunch of his stuff off and on, too. Oh, the big slimes are not getting pushed down. That seems to be an issue. Yeah, that's um in 1.16, I think it was, they changed that slimes can swim against the current. No, they're too big to that. go down, looks like. Oh, to fall down, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it wasn't perfect. As I said, I got passive slime, so I wasn't too worried. Um, I'm trying to think if there is anything else we need to show. I know there's one thing, and then I think that's might be it. I'm uh back in the market, by the way. I just here. DP to you. Oh, okay. Hey, what's this? Is this just I a know. makeshift thing farm here? Uh, yes, I needed a lot more um, mossy cobble and mossy um, brick. Okay. So. I threw up this. It was just when I was working in this area. I'd move it around depending on where I was working. Um, it just kind of traveled. I love the wall of the so, town, by the way. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, technically just just so people know their 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 stuff. This is called a palisade. A palisade is a spike-like wall made of wood. Um, this is. I looked up a lot of medieval terms for this. I may get some wrong when I'm remembering now, but this is the gatehouse uh, at uh -huh. the front of the wall. At the front of the keep, this is a barbican, the uh, structure in between it where the gate is. This is all of my items as Spiffy of my inventory speed. when I logged out. Yeah, Spiffy Spade. <laughs> yep, that's my Silk Touch pick. Uh, um, not pick. So shovel. shovel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never ended up naming oh well i had the feathery flippers with my boots feather falling and such but yeah i put everything in here so people could see my inventory and play around with stuff if they wanted to oh there's my oh there's a head nice yeah, that's all i had left by the end of the season <laughs> nice yeah um so if you follow me this way following this project i had Again, big aspirations for plans. I had doodles of what I was going to build out here, and I took a turtle egg and left. <laughs> That's all I did. I was going to build a, a turtle sanctuary inside this cove. Uh, I was going to make it so drowned couldn't get to the turtle spawning areas, but baby turtles could still get out, and so on and so forth. Uh, never ended up happening. <laughs> so. That looks nice, though. I but like I it. I really liked it. Yeah, again, the classic yeah, shulker I... boxes everywhere. <laughs> yep, yeah. I had tons of inventory just sitting around in places. Oh, this would bug me knowing that there's stuff out there that have, that could be useful. Yeah. Oh, well, I had so much stuff. It wasn't a huge issue to me. Uh, we're going to head to the town portal now because I've got two things in the nether. And then we're going to head off to my squid farm. And I think that's it. Awesome. Uh, I did not really do much in my nether. Oh, my nether is taking... There we go. A little bit to load. Oh, oops. It's okay. Uh, oh, this spawned us in the wrong portal anyway. We're down in my netherite mines. All right, up uh, we go. go. To... Oh, I see a portal where I think we should be. Uh, just go all the way. Just keep going all the way up. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, I see gold farm. Well, I think it's gold farm. Yeah. Or basalt. Oh, yeah, this is a basalt yep, farm. So we have a basalt farm down here. Uh, I'm going to go into creative so you can see me when we have to move. Oop, no. There we go. Creative. Um, this is another one. I actually did a tutorial on this. Uh, as I said, there's probably somebody out there who's already got this thing built. But I built it, designed it, built it, and put out a tutorial. And I enjoyed it. I used it like three times. <laughs> that was my timer. So, whoop, yeah. So if you put, if you flip this lever here, this would spin around and activate oh, I see. every time. I did have it initially set up to work off of its sensing, but it would pulse needlessly all the time mm -hmm. because it would think that something was there when the lava would flow in, and I was just like, I'm not dealing with it. Um, up there is just your standard gold farm. If you want to see it, go ahead. But it's just a sucker one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think this is the way I need to go. I'll TP you to me in a second, because I think this is the right way. Um, right behind you, then. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Good. Yes, here we are. Here is where my squids come through. If you want to hang out here, 
Um, you'll be able to see my squids in just a moment. Let me go into the uh, into the overworld. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and once I get closer, you should start seeing squids fall through. Oh yeah, I see them. Spawn in squiddies. Yep. <laughs> so I just did one of the squid nether portal things where you just put nether portals one block apart in a river. Uh, if you want to come through the other portal that's nearby, I'll meet you at that portal. Mm. And I'll show you the overworld section of it. Oh, there's a, a glitch where they're <laughs> facing through the blocks every now and again. Yeah, it looks like them. they're coming out. Yeah, it's really <laughs> funny. Uh, uh, this was my mining area for deserts, for de uh, sand, stone, and dirt. If you want to follow me yep, over here. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the squid farm, and then I'll show you where we uh, dug up Miraheim from. <laughs> All right. All right. But yeah, this is the squid farm. Uh, if you fly up to the sky a bit, you'll see that there's a lack of river anywhere inside the spawning range. Uh, yep. I went through and removed all of the river. That must have taken a long like time. Three... Um, I did it during a lot of live streams. Initially, I was doing it with just sand, and then I went, you know what? I should just buy sponges. I'm uh, not buy sponges, find sponges. So I went out and uh, took on three uh, temples and got a bunch of sponges and cleared out everything around. GG, dude. And it was fun. Um, and then, yeah, uh, where'd you go? Oh. I'm here. When you're done, turn around and come back this way. This is where Miraheim came from. Oh, I see. Oh, the stone, man. <laughs> yes. The grass, uh, even. I dug Sorry. all of the dirt off this mountain and made Miraheim. Oh, wow. This is nice. This would have been cool to do something on this rock. Yeah. I had always planned on coming back here, but I was using it as my sand mines also when it just started to become really ugly. Yeah. So I just never did it. Um, I also would. Uh, I had speed mines down below, so I could just insta mine the whole area. Obviously, all of that is gone. But I think that's actually it. I don't wow. Think I have anything else out here? Anywhere? There's probably something small I'm missing, but off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. It's, uh, I, I loved your world. Do you have any questions on any of it that you didn't get to ask? Because I talked too much. No, 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 it's fine. I asked all the questions. And I didn't mean to interrupt you all those times that you were speaking. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's the it's the downside of um, verbal-only communication. Yeah. Are you, yeah. You, can't, you can't get facial cues when somebody wants to speak. Mm -hmm. so. I'm just following you down here. Yeah. Go into the overworld again. And it dumps us out right outside here. But yeah, that's my world. One second. It's very fun. Currently oh, loading. Okay, oh, there you go. Loading, yeah. Chunk loading, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, we got a little bit of a cow over here, but that was really it. I can't think of anything else we didn't show. Oh, cow farm, nice. Yeah, that was an early cow farm for me. It was It's just easy to have. You just hop up top, push the button, the cows start jumping. Yep. Small Beat ones them, fall down and then you kill them. Yeah. Um, you can just push the button and they'll just burn. Oh, I never noticed that the first time. Yeah, yeah, the cows are in the way. So, And then that's how you got the cooked stuff. But oh, there's the button. I ended up using this a lot for leather, for armor, so that I could dress up the uh, armor stands. Mm. Oh, so that's a good that's amount of XP oh. as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, actually, I forgot to show you the wall of heads. Before I had a storage system, this was uh, back at the house. Yeah, on the porch. This is where I kept all my Oh, heads. yeah, I see. And my villager bell. Because <laughs> why not? Yeah. But typically, a lot oh, of these little annoying dudes who always bug yeah, you when uh, you don't want them. <laughs> Yeah, they only got killed because I told them not to come up on my porch, and they'd come up on my porch. Oh, I remember that. I, I wanted to put up a sign that said no solicitation, but I didn't think most people would get the joke, so I just kind of left it alone. Yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> uh... But I think, I think that's really it for the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If um when he does uh when Liam does release this video, if any of you ask questions in the comments, I will answer them. On the world, so let me know if you guys have any. Um, I'll try. I'll check the comments for like a week, 
so after the long I don't get any comments, you'll be fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you for showing me around your world. Go comment. Yep. Uh, I enjoyed Sorry, it. I definitely going to take loads of tips in that. Like the wall there, I'm definitely going to use a wall somewhere or another. Yeah. But yeah, it's been amazing. You, 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 you're amazing. That's about it. <laughs> you are amazing as well. Thank you for touring my world, and thank you for letting me bug you with all the stupid little things that probably nobody had ever noticed. And my brain's like, you gotta tell them, <laughs> they're not gonna notice it. So thank you. No, no, the, um, the small details find... are important. Yes, yes they are. But I do hope you find more worlds to tour, mm -hmm. and. A, I will s try and find some people to send your way. I don't really uh, know too many people who have horrible worlds at the moment, to be honest. But yeah, I'm sure I'll find some people. And I hope everyone watching enjoyed my world. If you want to see the building of this world, uh, I do have a playlist for it over on my channel. Uh, it's called D's World Season 1, somewhere along those lines. Um, it's fun. Yep. I very much enjoyed this. And you guys should definitely subscribe to Defense. He's an awesome career and deserves all the support you should get. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I will uh, promote this video on my feed and hopefully uh, people will swing by for you. Alright, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm gonna have me a cookie. Oh yeah, cookies. Oh, oh they'll just... I think I should be hungry by now. There we go. You put in a diamond, right? I, uh, <laughs> I just broke it by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. But yeah, thank you for touring my world, as I said. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Right, thank you.